future Eric here. This video that I am editing right now, I came across a major issue. Um, when somehow, when I was doing the video switching, I lost audio on one of the uh, scenes that I was switching through. And uh, not sure how that happened. Although I can take a few guesses. So, I'm going to voice over some of it. I did do a re-recording when I figured it out. But I have a feeling that I'm pro I'm not sure how I want to do it. I'll, I'll figure that out and you'll obviously see the outcome. But if the video doesn't seem like it is all that cohesive, I will... Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Alright, so... <clears throat> I screwed up. I screwed up big time. So... I recorded an entire video and only half of the scenes had audio and as you know a lot of stuff I record I can't just remake that moment so I had put the floppy drive in the blue uh, pen the blue uh, what is on the 8 computer I have um, parts that have been supposed to be here a week ago that are now telling me not till December 3rd. I have this part here that came in. This is a black uh, floppy drive bay adapter. Oh no. You know what? This got delayed like four times. I'm putting it in broken. I don't think you'll be able to see that. Uh, but yeah, that's, well, you'll be able to see it like that, but when it's in the computer, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Chose a black floppy drive that came from a, uh, from a, uh, HP or Compaq. I think it said Compaq on it. I have two ways I can mount this, um, and I think what I'll do is go for the side mount? I can either do it from the bottom, or I can do it from the side, and you know what, I'm going to do it from the bottom. Uh, the, since this did come from a compact, it is a T15. Uh, the drive bay adapter came with screws to mount it into the drive bay but not to mount the floppy drive into it. And, um, so I am obviously having to reuse some of these old uh, screws, which I don't have a problem with. I'd rather reuse rather than just keep piling up more unused ones, right? So, I'm hoping that this floppy cable I have will work with this.
go reboot the new uh, DOS mode. So what had happened was I noticed that my microphone had flipped in the pocket. And when I did, when I noticed that is when I noticed that I didn't have a... Uh... Okay, so... That's when I noticed that... Uh... Okay, so here we go. Running big blue disk menu. That's what I was looking for. So we have abstract art. Okay. Print shop images. Check and disk. Okay, so this really isn't anything... This really isn't anything big or anything. It's, I just wanted to make sure that this all worked, and it does seem to work just fine. I'm trying to get an idea of when this was ordered. 512K and CGA recommended, uh, 1991. So, wow. She's, uh, she's up there in age. But... End goes to end. F3 is silent sound. Okay, I don't think there's any kind... There might be a piezo somewhere on this board. But I don't think I have any type of audio coming from it. Um, F9 is menu. Okay. Cool. Do you really want to quit? Yes. Do not make illegal copies of the software. That being said, what I want to do, and the reason I put this in here, is I want to take all those disks. I'll probably use this machine to do it. Like I said, I'm building a... I'm building a uh, FTP server. So what I want to do is I want to make images of all these disks. Some of them, are, I want to load them up to archive.org. But I also want to, uh, you know, make them available for my own use like this. So that being said, there really isn't a whole lot more going on. I'm sorry it ended up going the way it did, but... Uh, Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.